Okay, today we're working on something sort of special. Actually, it's not that special in this part of the world, but I know that other parts of the country, these are pretty rare. This is a 1986 FJ60 Toyota Land Cruiser. Again, it's an 86. And uh, what's interesting about that, 86, that was uh, not that long ago. Well, it's almost 30 years ago. The engine is carbureted for an 86. It has a manual choke. See the carburetor right there? It's a six cylinder engine. I believe it's a 3.0 liter, but I could be wrong on that. Could be a four liter. Uh, very, very, very stout. Everything is stout, robust. Big, huge fan belts, big, huge fan, huge radiator, big battery. Everything's heavy duty. The suspension is really tough. Straight axles, four wheel drive. Uh, pretty cool rig. Uh, maybe you're familiar with these, maybe you're not. Again, it's an FJ60. Um, this one is a stick shift model. You can see there's a clutch slave, uh, I'm sorry, a clutch master and a slave there. And we'll look at the dash here. It's kind of reminiscent of time gone by. See that? has a uh, spinometer, a tachometer, which only goes to, whoops, to <laughs> uh, a little less than 4,000, and then a multi-gauge here. But what I want to show you is the light on the side here. When you pull the choke out, see the choke light come on? Manual choke, folks. When was the last time you saw one of those on a modern car? Anyhow, what we're doing today is um, a tune-up and something else in the back here, I'll show you. So, this is an 86, as I said, and it never came with three-point seat belts in the back. And this family has young kids, and if you can see there, now my screwdriver's poked in there, right, that hole that's right there in the, I guess that would be the C pillar, I've made a square around it, I've got to put a reinforcement plate there. Uh, so we can put three-point belts in. Otherwise, it'll just pull right out of the hole. There's no threads, no nothing. Same thing on this side. So what I'm about to do is um, weld a plate with a hole and a nut, a captive nut there, so we can screw the three-point belts on, and then we have new seat belts to put here that have an attachment point. So that's what I'm doing here, kind of a retrofit for bringing this car into the 21st century. Or maybe it's the 22nd century. I'm not sure where we're at. But so just wanted you to get a gander at this um, 1986 Toyota FJ60. It's a Land Cruiser. It is four-wheel drive. It's old school. Pretty cool truck. Has some cool details that you just don't see much anymore. Very basic SUV from the uh, 80s. Okay. Thanks for checking me out. And thanks for checking out this old Land Cruiser. And uh, you might see it putting around the streets of Portland sometime.